your wish is granted. Hey guys, it's Mr. Cool Tricks, and welcome to another sound design magic video. Here, I make a music track using something or various things that I find. In this video, I'll be making a music track from two videos on MOSFET's YouTube channel featuring JFET Speaks. For some background information, MOSFET and JFET are brothers that have their own YouTube channels, where they would showcase furry skit videos and other things. MOSFET is a silent fursuiter, which means that he uses actions to express his thoughts, while JFET is the one that does all the verbal speaking. That's the reason why he has a mini speaker on his chest. When I stumbled upon the video that was shown earlier in the intro, I instantly knew that I wanted to remix this, since there are pretty interesting sounds to work with here. So I decided to challenge myself to make a music track entirely out of JPEG's voice. Before we start, here are the two videos that I utilize for the music track. As a reminder, there are no extra samples or synthesizers, just one box scope, or rather two of them, and a ton of effects processing. Without further ado, let's start the magic. Here is the project file for the music track that I developed. I'll show you the instruments, and then I'll explain how these were made. I'll be playing the finished music track in the end, so stay tuned for that. Most of the instruments that you are about to hear are equalized to help shape the sound. Let's start with this sound in the intro. For this one, two of the beeps were played four times in a row. Some ring modulation was added for a metallic sound. After that, I automated the tone of the sound to rise higher as the sound is being played. Then a lot of reverb was added. In the track, there are these blips that play. They are actually present in most of the track's parts. The original sound is one of the beeps. When I first made the sound, I originally wanted it to be a melody. But after I added a bit crusher, something interesting happened when I played higher notes. This was pretty interesting, so I decided to switch the direction of the sound to a sound effect instead. While the track plays, there are melodic elements and drums that are introduced. I will explain them a bit later on in this video. For now, there is this pad that plays. The pad is made of two sounds. I took one of the beeps, as well as this sound, and they were both processed by chorus and reverb to help it sound more like a pad. To fill things up, voice lines were added. They all come from this video. We can just set up a camera and film random stuff, and people will love it! People will love it! This line is processed by some reverb to serve as a fadeaway and also a transition for the next segment. Quick, go grab the box of royalty-free music, and we can put some tunes on! We can put some tunes on! This line is processed with some chorus. I then exported it as a separate sample, then combined it with two other copies of the same line, played at different speeds. We can put some tunes on! We can put some tunes on! We can put some tunes on! There are noise elements that are added too. The noise comes from the end of the freestyle video. It was stretched out longer, then a lot of reverb was added. You can hear the difference right here. This transition sound is played in the build section of the track. I took one of the beeps and added a ring modulation to it. This already transformed the sound by a lot. The sound was then looped over and over again, then some delay was added. Of course, a build section needs a riser. The riser comes from this. And we can put some tunes on! It had chorus and reverb on it, then the sample was automated to make it rise higher over time. We then get to the drum. Let's start off with the drums. 
The kick was made from two copies of the same sound. They were both distorted, but they were equalized differently. The snare is made of two layers. There is this clap sound which is made from this, which was then distorted to help sharpen the sound, and a beatbox snare, which was then distorted and compressed. The hi-hat comes from this sound, and some loud reverb was added to it. The notes for the hi-hat are laid out like this. Finally, there's this ride, which is just the same thing as the hi-hat sound, but with some extra compression and reverb. Let's move on to the chords. The chords are made of two layers. There's this sound and this sound. They were then both processed by chorus and a little bit of reverb. The track also needed a bass line. The bass is made of two layers. Both of these layers come from the same beat sound. The main bass is distorted and had some chorus applied, while the sub bass is just distorted and all the high end is taken out. Later in the drop, there are these distorted blips. These were made from this sound. And then distortion and mild reverb were added. For the sound to rise higher, slide notes were utilized. Now it is time to explain the melody elements. There are six of them in total. This melody comes from this. Then distortion, chorus, and reverb shape the sound. Then there's this one. It comes from one of the beeps. Then chorus and reverb were applied. There's another copy of this melody that plays an octave higher. This next melody sounds pretty close to a trumpet. It originally sounded like this, but then I played around with the sample's filter and resonance. Some heavy distortion was added, as well as some chorus and reverb. The instrument is laid out like this, where there are two melody lines played an octave apart. Later on in the drop, there's this mild harmony that plays. It's this sound right here, but with some chorus and delay added. Lastly, there's this bell. It's this sound again, with some reverb added. There are these drop sounds that are scattered throughout the entire section, and that also meant I managed to transform this into this. I'll show you how I made them. This growl here is made from one of the beeps and is played very low. I introduced a lot of distortion to it, and now it sounds like this. To make it sound more like a growl, I automated several equalizers. Next, there is this quick melody. It comes from this, then the sound was distorted and had some chorus applied. Lastly, there is this voice-like bass. Just like the other growl, this bass is made from one of the beeps and is played very low. Distortion was added and equalizers were automated. But to really bring this sound together, a bit crusher was added. Yeah. And that is the track all explained. With that all done and dusted, I will now present to you the finished music track made entirely from GFET's voice, along with a video edit made by me. Hope you enjoy it.
So there you have it. If you guys enjoyed this video, go ahead and give this video a like. And if you would like to see more content from me, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and click the bell icon to get notified of when I upload. While you're at it, go ahead and subscribe to Mozfet and Jinkbet if you're interested in seeing more stuff from them. With that all said, thank you all for watching and have a great time.